Normally you'll find me under rte.ie forward slash circus acts, that kind of thing. But anyway, we're here and we're ready to rock and we have a virtual galaxy of stars for you to meet. Uh, Sauron Mulligan is with us. We've got Ishnot, we've got Kern, Murnik Olif, and to begin, Black Bank Folk. <laughs> Please come to me, let me hold you in my arms, for I'm not taking no for an answer. The sea march along and the night seems so long but the spring will bring you life to the meadow please come This next song is one we uh, brought out a couple of years ago to celebrate the 1916 Rising. This is called Plough to the Stars. They came to the city from near and from far with hopes of an island that's free from the plow to the stars Sons of the cobbles Sons of the land Sons raised in stories of heroes and great ancient clans For their dreams they gave their blood Past generations 
strengthen their hearts. They fought for an island that's free from the plow to the stars. They fought for the freedom that they never see. The days of rebellion have made us the sons of 16. For emancipation of Branya Will With ideas of Emmett and tone as the wind in their sail For their dreams they gave their blood For their friends they gave their love For past generations Strength in their hearts They fought for an island that's free from the plow to the stars that are true They face the old order the day that was dawning anew We cry as a republic A land of our own Shoots of freedom sprang up from the seeds that were sown For their dreams they gave They dreamed of an island that's free from the plow to the stars. Thank you. Top class. Nice one. Plow to the stars there. Black Bang Folk. Uh, James Sheeran there on uh, lead vocals. Uh, James. Top class, but you might as well introduce the band to me first and foremost. Who have we got with you? Thanks, John. Uh, this is Sharon Hussey on fiddle and whistles. Well known to our listeners in Melbourne, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> the Golden Fiddle, we were talking about it on the way. Yeah, up. and she award told winner she in won Melbourne. That. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, this is John Colbert. Grand. Um, Actually, I often, John, if, um, but you can answer there if you wish, James, on his behalf. But uh, Colbert, um, you're related, are you, to the 1916 leader? Yeah, he's my Con Colbert. Uh, grand uncle. And, and he's the man after whom the train station is named and the barracks and everything else. Yeah. Yeah. So d d what, what's the story in the family, say, about Colm? What kind of man was he? Um, he was a very religious man. He would have nearly become a priest. Only, I think he went into Nafina when it started up and yeah. then um, got involved and was um, executed for his part in the Rising. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, um, it's, it's, a kind of, it's a serious mantle that you carry in ways, isn't it, being a descendant of... of yeah, Colin well, Colin. it was a great inspiration for us, for our first album, for Rising. It got us into, kind of, into the mindset of everything that went on back then and, and tried to find different stories that went on and, and some of the stories that people didn't know about. So um, it, it, was, uh, it was a great eye-opener for us and finding all the stories that went on. Like, yeah. Interesting, there aren't too many Colberts in my part of the world. There's a couple, um, but some of them trade as Colbert and other people as Colbert. Well, people in Limerick would be given out to me for saying Colbert. It should be, they pronounce it Colbert. 
So uh, God, I, 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 I got I, into awful trouble. For I know a family in Middleton in Cork, and they're Colbert. Right. Yeah. yeah right. That's the same <laughs> your man Stephen. When Colbert. he has his croissants, he's Colbert. But yeah. for the rest yeah. of the day, he's Colbert. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit like the Credinis in Italy, you know. That's it. When I cross the Shannon, it changes. Yeah. It does indeed. Yeah. And, and tell me, James, uh, about the band. First of all, where did you get your name? Uh, well, myself and John are from Rohini, and uh, right. so there's a little area there called Black Banks. Um, so that's where we got it originally. Um, we we kind of started writing songs probably five or six years ago, the two of us, and then the, the band has kind of grown and grown now. So there's, for the big gigs, there's seven or eight of us on stage now. Right, I'm very hurt. <laughs> 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 Do you know, about the, um, uh, I was looking there at your, your musical influences, and it almost looks like a, a Creedence Show playlist. It's all down there. The Dubliners, Christy Moore, um, Bob Dylan, Ewan McCall, Bob Marley, the band, Woody Guthrie, Neil Young, Johnny Cash. The only ones you're missing, I think, are the Sex Pistols and Bing Crosby. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but, but you like a broad range of, of folk music, yeah? No, absolutely, yeah. Um, I mean, listening to a lot of Irish stuff growing up and kind of house parties and that kind of stuff would have been the main influence on the Irish stuff. And then um, myself and John liked a lot of indie stuff and then the band and Neil Young and, and people like that for uh, songwriters were big influences on us. Yeah. And is there a place kind of where, where trad and folk meets, if you know what I mean? You're singing, you're singing ballads there. They're straight up ballads. Yeah. Um, is, is there a place where the two meet or where the two separate, if you know what I mean? Black Bank Folk. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> right. gotcha. yeah. Oh, you're always falling out, are you? <laughs> uh, because of musical similarities, I heard, was actually, uh, was the reason given once for a, a band breaking up. They said, yeah, we're breaking up because of musical similarities. Right, okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah. They were two alike. Well, we, we're, we're lucky to have um, great trad musicians with us, and they kind of bring flavours of, of, of trad. Um, and then we kind of bring singer songwritery kind of elements yeah. to it and try to blend it all together. So... Um, it doesn't always work, but when it does, it, it, it you know, Almost definitely does, really I mean, Sharon's fiddle playing there, just kind yeah, of weaving in and around the tune, is, beautiful, it yeah. gives us something beautiful. Um, t talk to me, um, uh, say, about the difference between the kind of gigs you do, because I know, for example, you've, you've, you've gigged in Vicar Street, and that's probably, a, I won't say a formal setting, but it's a concert. So is that work, and then festivals are crack? Is that it, or how does it work out? To be honest with you, um, any gig we play with Black Bank Folk is, is, is enjoyable, you know. Um, we're, we're all gigging musicians anyway, so we do get some real work uh, jobs, you know. Yeah. But uh, Black Bank <laughs> Folk is fun, you know. Yeah. So uh, anything like that, I mean, Vicar Street was probably, well, it was certainly one of the highlights for me. But uh, it was just, like, it was amazing to be there and great crowd reactions and stuff. We got to play with Damien Dempsey and... Uh, it was kind of a lot of box ticked, you know, from yeah. uh, from a long time ago. So it, it was great. So any time we get to play our own music in front of people is a real pleasure, to be honest with you. Yeah. And I know you've been at Electric Picnic on a few occasions. What about uh, Flag Hill? How does that compare? Say? Uh, well, the energy in the town is just amazing, you know. So um, it's just great to be here. And, like, you really get to realise, you know, if you're just reading the news and looking on social media, you know, you can get quite down on how things are in the country, but you come to something like this and there's a real energy and a real positivity and um, it's just nice to be part of it and nice to be invited. Yeah, I think you're speaking for a lot of people there when you talk about news and social media fatigue sometimes. I kind of despair as well. Yeah. So it's great to get out there and meet folks. Even when we were doing the TV show during the summer, you, you could easily forget that there are ordinary people getting up, getting on with things and having That's a laugh, you know? That's it, and you see it when you're gigging around the country, you know, just talking to people and there's a real vibe there and, like, you kind of forget all the positive things about Ireland sometimes when you're, you know, when you get hemmed down in the bad stuff, but yeah. uh, there's good stuff out there too. Great, so you've got two more for us now. So what are you going to do? Is it a song or tunes or what? Uh, this is called Dink's song, actually. It's an old American folk song, um, but we put our own little twist on it. So um, John's going to take the vocals on this one. Okay. Body 
like a cannonball Fare thee well, mommy Fare thee well And I remember one evening In the pouring rain And in my heart There was an aching This is our last song. This is the title track of our new album. This is called Last Star Fall. Thank you. But they do not take flight 
Every day surrounded by the dreams of others slandered here With these shades of not for me Take me home Take me home Take me to choose you don't get to choose take me home take me home take me home take me